Okay, I think we'll make do with this. Someone's alive. By the rocks. I don't think it dropped anything good. Speak sense, soldier. Burrowers. No, 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 no. Time for a scrap. Wait, no, this ain't what I wanted to. I'm not interested in this quest. I guess if Fustus was busy making hunter killers. Yeah, I mean... I think with these I can melee a little more. Oh, sign and strike. Oh, I got another one? Nice. Try hitting that in the eyes during that thing. I thought that was the final one. Getting <laughs> roped into these bloody encounters. Ugh. Underjaw's back. This is gonna get rough. Okay. I didn't realize this was part of the same quest for a second. I was like, what's going on? Yeah, I mean. I we definitely got to make some tear blast stuff and we got to make it count. So let's start with this. Tail, detachable, weak spot, weak spot. Chain reaction, we don't have plasma. Yeah, so then disc launches, something we would like to have if possible. Actually, wait. Give me tear blast ammo. It's nice that they, that they toss you ammo though. I'm definitely happy with that. We're barely making a dent on this thing. We need more firepower. There you go, weapon removed. Just dead ravagers around. We can use their cannons. Go get one. I'll draw the Thunder Jaws fire. Give you some room. Okay, hold on. I lost the concentration at such a shit time. Ah, not quite. Okay, let's see what the deal is here. Yeah, that was definitely going to happen. Oh, it's sliced back round again. Sheesh. 
Come on, man. The last one I knocked out way more quickly than this. Oh, boy. I was going to say that could be... That could be a one-hit KO. Okay, I destroyed the weapons. But it's just too... I mean, they said they'd distract it. I swear that was the whole point of this exercise. They were like, you go in, we'll distract it. And then they just... They did nothing. That's dumb. So yeah, no thanks for that cover or whatever the hell that was supposed to be. Now, let's start again. Actually, let's do what we did last time. It's already moving. Just stop. So I only successfully removed one of the three parts I wanted to remove. And I don't have enough now for anything else. I'm going to try. Because, I mean, that's one of the main keys to beating these guys. But I can't even make the shot, so that's obviously a different thing. But, I mean, even these guys, they just don't stop moving. And even if they move slightly from this distance, you miss. See that? I don't know how that hit. That was lucky. There's plenty of dead ravagers around. Really? We can use their cannons. Where are they? Where's the dead ravagers? I don't see no dead ravagers, man. Okay, there you go. Component destroyed. That's good. But I'm in the kind of spot where if I get out of here, I'm going to die. So I've got to be very careful. I think if I just stay here and I just take out that... Getting close. Wait, did I knock it off? I'm not sure. But yeah, talking about dead ravages, I don't think that's going to happen. Stay on the move. Yeah, once it charges towards you, you're just not going to have the evasion to get rid of it. There you go, another one destroyed. But yeah, where's them? Shoot those cannons off the dead ravagers. Use them against the thunder jaw. Yeah, but I gotta not die first. Okay, that's a tactic I've been making use of already, but I just didn't know where they were. Okay, they gave me a freebie there. Quick. Quick. Get up. 
Okay. I think I can take it from here. Right in his mouth. Go. First thunder jaw. We did it. Hey, do me a favor and get the thunder jaw's heart. I need to check on that soldier. And I mean, this is considering the fact that tear blast arrows are really not plentiful at the moment. <laughs> they're hard to they're hard to craft for as well because there's so many. They really have taken away one of the best tools we had against these big machines. So it definitely increases the challenge compared to the first game. Once I got used to the tear blast arrows, I was going through thunder jaws much more easily. But that's all good. Should have a lot of loot. Well, this will do. I should check on Draka and that soldier. Okay. Whew. Yeah, so the disc launcher was all the way here, but it was so far away from <laughs> everything else. And it was really out in the open. Find this in my stash later. That's the only thing against these guys when you're caught out in the open. Wow, just okay, that's a bit rude. Okay. It's turned into a much more <laughs> intense thing than I was expecting, but we did it. I didn't think I was going to make it. You did good, soldier. You're going back home. Thanks to this one. You were the one who refused to leave your people behind. Uh, I know I'm racking up favors here, but uh, did you take those hearts back to Arrowhand? We'll be right behind you. Of course. Be careful. With that Thunderjaw heart in hand, we'll get all the water we need. Thank you, Aloy. I mean, uh, making us return to Arrow Land is a bit annoying. <laughs> Thankfully, we've got fast travel. I'll be making use of that. Let me just get me some supplies. Okay. Yeah, I'll use up one of those. Appreciate the extra pair of hands, Chaplain. You've returned. Where's Draka? Just a little late, Chaplain. Gained some extra baggage on the way back. She's got the machine hearts, including a Thunder Jaws. You should have seen this flame in the desert. Here. Something to commemorate our heroic victory. A victory indeed. Command will be relieved to hear about this. Get them to Scalding Spear as soon as you can. And tell the commander how many had to die to get them. Huntress, may I have a word? I heard what you did at the Grove. They say that in addition to your bow and spear, you have a kind of second sight, especially for matters that have to do with the old ones. That's one way to put it. So it's true. You've done well by my clan. But our troubles may not be as easily settled as Draka believes. I think your second sight might be just what we need. What exactly is the problem? Not here. Meet me at Scalding Spear. I'll explain everything. I'll see you there when I can. <laughs> Good. The entire clan might depend on it. Yeah, okay. They're trying to give us the big stakes here, but... I think after that one, uh, I'm done for now. They took away my hearts, man. I've got five skill points, and I am up to, and I am up to level twenty-three now. So, yeah, I'm definitely gonna be 
moving on here. Wound in the sand. It's only level 19. But yeah, at least we took out our first Thunderjaw. Always a difficult enemy. I doubt I have anything new at this stage because I have to give back most of what I got, so... I'm going to continue now. Let me get some stuff from the stash, actually. I've been using up a lot. I think the stash has become more and more important as I've started to drain through more resources over time. The truth of the this might be better, actually. The right tool the right this outlander. Actually, I can sell. I've got a lot of resources, too, now. No? Yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely ready to Together to buy some new weapons and stuff soon. You need to time right. so save the chief okay. Goody. Hey, it's a Karo's champion. Let's go. Actually, I wanted the tool neck first, right? But it's in the same general direction. Let me get that back on my radar. So that's what I mean. Like, the game will keep trying to draw you away from <laughs> from the main quest. So you kind of have to be a bit picky sometimes, especially with me, as you guys have seen. Sometimes I just straight up ignore stuff because that's just one... It's one of the ways in which it can put people off from enjoying, I think, the rest of the game. You've got to be more self-aware of when you feel like you're being pulled too far away and you just want to get on with it and fight that urge to feel like you have to do everything. Once you can overcome that, I think you really can up your enjoyment of the game in a, in a different way. So sometimes you just got to let it go. So that one is still there, actually, interestingly enough. Hey, like, what are you, what are you doing? Yeah, I'm not quite headed on the right path here, but... Yeah, so either our gliding ability is just going to get an upgrade or something, because that Tornik is still there. So I don't know, we'll have to see. I'm going to call my trusty steed. Let's go. This time there's going to be no more distractions. I'm just going to spread through. Life rampage, it's more like roadkill. Okay, there it is, the Tornek is in sight. That also on the Tornek should be around here. So, I think we can. Unless you took that. There might be the Osirin camp that Tornek's told me I should talk to the class, must be closing in on the signal. Okay. Alright, might have some stuff to, to get here. So let's grab these. We are starting to run a bit short on supplies since we started really going for those tear blast arrows and stuff. Let's grab a quick I got rumor. news for you, Red. Be careful if you plan on going south. A few of our Delvers headed that way after we first arrived. Said they were tracking a tall neck. Why? I never thought to ask. But we haven't heard from them since. Thanks for the warning. The t new tall neck that still stands. Okay, I think that's the one I'm already going for. Tall neck out there. Overriding it should help me get data on this. That's an unknown tall neck. Hmm. 
Okay, I think it is that one. Now she's in the wilds, all alone. Forge knows all the things that could kill her out there. Someone ran off? Never got her name. Kept quiet. Couldn't tell if she was shy or scared. All I know is she didn't want anyone near her things. That's for sure. I was just curious is all. She didn't have to slug me. Your glass jaw ain't the problem, Lugnut. The girl is. All alone in the bush? And this is Tanakh territory. Which way did she go? West, up the slope. Look for her if you can. I will. Careful now. The girl's maladjusted. <laughs> maladjusted. Okay. I saw that random, like, pod rolling around in here. We do have a pouch upgrade after taking out some vultures, which is good. This one. Oh, okay, it's the fox eye one. Spike, fine. That's actually good. That's a good upgrade. Still need more rabbits. We need a vulture wishbone. Um, what else do we need a vulture for? Okay, I'm close to the bomb satchel. Yeah, we definitely need more rabbit, I think. Rabbit bone. Yeah, it's another one. So I definitely need more rabbits, but I don't know where they appear. So next time I come across a bunch of rabbits, I'll start to take Tanakh them out. Right, let's head towards that tall neck. It's been way too long since we overrode one. I hope there's actually a way up this time. Another Talmec sending out a signal. I was told there was one around. Okay, just random bristle bash, just leaving stuff here. I'll take it. Definitely have a healthy supply of shards now. I just need the parts so that I can get uh, a few more weapons. I do wonder when we're going to start running into like purple tier weapons. Uh, this looks like caps. awesome gear. It must be the crew I heard about when I'm tracking a Tolmec. What are they up to? That doesn't look good. I should check it out. Founder becoming hunted. Osram used some kind of harpoon to take this machine down. I must have attacked the camp. Maybe my focus can help me figure out why. But why is this important? Can I not just try and get to the to the tall neck? Straight up, there you go. Maybe you don't just straight up climb, you have to do some other stuff here. A harpoon. With anchors. Were they? They were trying to take down that tall neck. So the Osram wanted to weigh down that tall neck and strip it for parts. The machines must have caught them in the act. I wish there was a way to climb up and inspect the damage. Unless. Pretty, but things don't get fixed. Wow. Way down the tall neck. I didn't think that's what I was gonna have to do. Get this stash when I need it. Definitely changing it up here. Oh. Is this more from Fashav? No. Weathered bound parchment inked with glyphs. Steel to my soul, fortune favours the bold. We found ourselves one of them tall necks, served up on a platter. 
all alone in this big, wide, empty desert. Runda's anchor slings are too sluggish to catch them smaller machines, but this dull, hammered fella moves nice and slow. If, if today's test run goes well, we'll strip him for all he's got and skedaddle back to the claim with more salvage than we can sell. So that's what they're after. I guess we'll have to use the, the harpoon thingy as well. Sorry in advance, Mr. Tallneck. For a second I thought I have to like climb up this mountain and glide down. Maybe you can do it that way, but I feel like I'll probably get one shot at this. But I'll start from this side in case there is enough time to load up a second shot. We can only do one at a time, I guess. Fine. There's probably other anchors set up in the area. I need to find them. Use them to take down that tonic. Looks like machines are this one too. I bet a ballista can help me fight these machines. I'm making it easy. Yeah, they take way too many hits, man. I think I need I think my weapons need a bit of an upgrade at this stage. So it still hasn't blown up by the way. I thought that was a literal point of this whole, whole thing. I'm going to restart this acid fellow back. Because that's explosive. I know that one is. Okay, so I misunderstood how the uh, acid thing worked, obviously. I mean, because it just didn't blow up. Isn't that how you did it? Wasn't that the entire mechanic of those guys? I bet a ballista can help me fight these machines. Yeah, I'm in trouble now because... I've got these two flyers and I've got the acid bellow back and I have to find a way to take them out. This is like a level 20 mission? I'm level 23. You think that this is supposed to be like easy or something. Maybe it is easy and I just suck, but still, I mean, this is just a nasty situation we find ourselves in. Can I get the critical? Yep. Oh, what? I couldn't. That sucks. I literally missed it by like a second. Uh, there's just too much going on here. You, there's like eight enemies around me. I have no idea how I'm supposed to withstand all of that. How is that a level 20 battle? I'm confused. There's no way that's a level 20 thing. This guy literally teleported over here. I don't know how he managed that. It's like they all have their own separate weaknesses as well. I'm just amazed at the acid bellow back. It's just. It's like the fastest one out of the bunch. A 
Okay, at least I'm getting rid of the little shits first. But missing that critical strike on the Sky Drifter was a annoying. That one went through it. And because of the Sky Drifters, I don't think I can really get back into stealth. King Ugh. Okay. I swear that acid bellow back is the most annoying thing I've faced so far. It shouldn't be. I remember these guys not being that bad. Yeah, it's just a horrible horrible combination. Let me get out of here again. Give myself some breathing room. You see what I mean? It's so fast. It's just crunching me down every time. Like I can't I can't distance myself from them. I'm still in this fight. I can't distance myself and I can't hide. See what I mean? Like, they just find you again. <laughs> it's like a bad dream. What a horrible set of enemies. Great fun, though. <laughs> I haven't faced this combination of enemies for a while. But there's only those two left, so if I can just take out this stupid Sky Drifter, I'm in with a shot, but... And of course, the any, any time I attack any of the other machines, Acid Guy's on the case with his sniper Acid shots. Good death. Right, at least now I should be able to hide from it, though. Hide from it and plan my attack. But no, you see? Right, this time, I can hide. Right. Let's take a breather. That took a while. Again, when it's one on one, what a difference it makes, huh? That's it, mate. You're done. Get out of here. Okay, definitely very annoying. This <laughs> is the first time. So yeah, I misunderstood the whole um, explosive sack thing. I thought I had to hit it with acid. Because that's what we've been doing so far. But I think when it's canisters, you hit it with like the relevant thing. But sometimes with the sack, it's more just if you have anything that's explosive, like my explosive spears, for example, or spikes, then that seems to be the way. Okay. So let me take a second to breathe. This tall neck is not going to do anything to me. 